starting the vlog on the phone this morning because Gemma's had to go to work early. So I said to her, you know, I'm gonna go for a run because I missed yesterday's run out. I'll get four miles in this morning. She can take the car. So that is the plan. So I've done a bit of paperwork this morning. I've got a new Juicens account opened up, which is like a builder's merchants if you're not aware of it. Uh, so I need to go in there and just confirm a few things. I also have a three quarter size guitar for Dominic. He's starting guitar lessons at school. And I tried tuning it up and broke the strings. I don't know if there's different tuning for three quarter or not. So uh, I'm gonna run into work which is where my camera is with the car and we'll pick it up from there. Okay. But I'll be back. I'll be done for like seven, I think. Yep. Okay. Um, are you going to get those guitar strings? Or yeah, I'll go around and get them when I've got changed. Do you know, will you ask if we've got a guitar case as well? Do you know, like a cover? Yeah, I'll have a look. Four miles run. I'm now in the car. It's 11.44. Going into work. I've got to get some guitar strings as well. Did I say that? I think so. Well, that's the car locked. That's my run completed. And jacket on, and a quick walk into town, pick up the guitar strings, and then contemplate what we're going to do for half a day. Before I go into town, I'm going to use what's left of this foam in a hole down here, then I'm going to clean the gun. Right, the gun is now empty. I've got the foam cleaner. I spray it on that foam there. You can see it totally dissolves it. So uh, that's how this stuff works. Right, so we'll close the gun off. First thing to do, so we don't get any back leakage. And we'll unscrew the gun. And there we go. Just pop him there, let him gas out. And we're gonna remove any foam around. And then we remove the cap from the, the spray cap from the gun foam cleaner. Hold it upright. And then screw the beast on. There we go. And then we just spray this into a bucket or outside onto the wood pile. Take the cam back off. You can see there's still quite a bit of pressure in there. There we go. So that's now cleaned. And then what we can do, if required, is take the whole thing apart. Right, spin the camera around, you can see what I'm doing now. So, to take one of these apart, it's as easy as one, two, three. First things first, back nut off, spring out, retract the handle, and unscrew this nut here, which I've already loosened off. And then once that's unscrewed, you'll be able to just grab the back of the shaft and pull the spear out. Take care not to lose your olive. And then we want to clean inside the tip, in the, inside the tip, but just the tip mind, and around the tip of the spear. But don't scratch it. You don't want to scratch any of this, if possible, because it could damage or cause a leak. Damage any seals, cause a leak. I believe there's an o-ring in there, I'm not 100% sure, just in that section there. 
You can also unscrew and take this bit off. I'm not going to do that. So we just had a little bit of a leak out the end. I had to tighten it every time. So the idea is just to clean the tip of the spear and the nozzle to help create a good seal. So I've got the olive back in. I've threaded in the spear. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up this nut to where it was previously, which is about there. Yeah, that's tight. And then this is what puts the tension on the spear. There we go. So she's moving a bit more freely now. And then we'll stick the thumb screw at the back back on. Put the pressure on the gun and close it. So she has now been cleaned. Now I don't like to leave these guns with nothing on. So what I'm going to do, open a new can of PU foam, connect her up, making sure that all the valve is closed, making sure that we're not cross threading and we are. There we go. So let's see how she flows. Beautiful. And seals nicely as well. Got the flow control onto it. Oh, like a curly pill. You don't want to touch that when it's wet either, you'll never get it off. So I'm gonna close the valve back up tight. Because I've just used a bit, I'm just gonna spray the tip. Give it a wipe. Let that cure. Go and get some guitar strings. So I've spent at least an hour replying to the liquidator today. Another email. More unpaid work, if you like. And uh, miraculously, the kids have arrived in the car. Hi! So we've got to come and pick the van up. There she be and go and see Dave about a second hand door to put on the workshop unit entrance thing. Everyone wants to see you doing some work buddy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, imagine that. How are you doing? All right. Dave writing, nobody hey, knowed it. Dave. <laughs> How you doing? Right, we've got that door on mate, cheers. Any more, right. I'll have them. Yeah, I'll save them, yeah. Uh. Bill. Hello. I turned Charlie down, so I thought, I'll hear you out with the door, but I'll never hear it door going. Oh, she's dressed, though, today. <laughs> Where have you been? Doctors. Right, can I, uh, can I leave these with you, then? Yes. Yeah, because they like it. Well, it's ten past five just gone. I've seen on Twitter and Facebook that beer heads have got a Simcoe beer in, so I might just treat myself to a quick pint of that before Gemma finishes work, and uh, if I wait for her, then she can drive the car home. Result! <laughs>